Good evening, community members, school faculty, family, friends, and class of 2022. I'm Hunter Ellis, one of the West Home Senior Class Officers. It is my greatest pleasure to welcome you all to the 2022 High School Commencement. I extend my sincerest congratulations to all receiving their diplomas and acknowledge the support that has helped us along the way. I would like to recognize the following individuals. We ask that you please stand to be recognized and remain standing until the end. From the West Holmes Board of Education, President Mrs. Tina Zikafus, Vice President Mr. Eric Strauss, Members Mrs. Patricia Sage, Mr. Hans Bamsire, and Mr. Andrew Jones, Superintendent Mr. Eric Jerkovic, Curriculum and Federal Programs Director Mr. Brian Boffman, Treasurer Mrs. Jamie Mullet, and from the West Holmes High School staff, Principal Mr. Tyler Renner, Assistant Principal Mr. Ed Honneberger, Senior Class Advisors Mrs. Melissa Rohde and Mr. Jeremy Westbrook, and representing the Ashland County West Holmes Career Center, Mr. Doug Haas. Please join us in a round of applause. We would now like to recognize all of our current West Holmes preschool through high school teachers and faculty who are seated up front and throughout the stands. Please stand at this time and be recognized. I would like to now welcome my fellow class officer, Megan Westbrook. On behalf of the senior class, I would like to thank the following people for their support and service in regard to today's commencement ceremony. Mr. Tyler Renner, Mr. Ed Honneberger, Mr. Jeremy Westbrook, Mrs. Melissa Rohde, Ms. Andrea Anderson, Mr. Brian Lash, Mr. Jim Park, Mrs. Justine Baker, Mrs. Margaret Davis, Mr. Matt Torgler, Mrs. Teresa Mackey, Ms. Allison Rogers, Mrs. Shannon Dye, Mrs. Jerry Phillips, Mrs. Mindy Campbell, Mr. Brian Dodd, Mrs. Kristen O'Brien, Mr. Johnny Paul, Mr. Zach Gardner, Mr. Jeremy Burnison, Mr. Dave McMillan and the Building Trades, Mr. Jim Conrad and Jostens, Mr. Doug Haas of the Ashland County West Homes Career Center. Please join me in a round of applause for the following individuals. And now welcome my fellow class officer, James Barr. Good evening. At this time, we would like to recognize our retirees. Combined, the careers of our retirees represent 190 years in the service of education. Retirees, please stand when your name is announced. Mrs. Jody Gibbs, Ms. Janice Hoddenshield Wise, Mr. Robert Hunter, Mrs. Teresa Mackey, Mrs. Kay Parsons, Mrs. Brenda Reining, Ms. Gail Rosales, and Mrs. Rosemary Taggart. At this time, would anyone retiring this year from the West Home School District please stand as well? Thank you all for your service. Please welcome my fellow senior class officer, Noah Clark. Good evening, families and students. I want to take the opportunity I have right now to first say thank you to all of the parents in the room. I know as a son myself that I haven't made my parents' life any easier, but they have never once made me feel as though I wasn't enough or as though I wasn't loved, and for that I am eternally grateful. I want to thank my parents for always believing in me and always pushing me to be the best I could in every aspect of life. It has led me to this podium today. 
As a group of officers, we came together to decide what we should give to the school as a senior class legacy. After brainstorming and planning, we chose to have the Senior Building Trades class build a West Holmes class of 2022 bench. Hopefully you all saw it as you were walking in tonight. We also will put some positive and inspiring adages on the walls throughout the high school for students to read as they are going through the halls from class to class. We hope this will brighten their day and motivate them to keep going, to do their best, and to reach and surpass their potential. Finally, we were given the opportunity to provide the additional funds needed in building two communication boards at Millersburg Elementary. We are thankful for everybody that was able to make this happen. On a somber note, this past year, the Palmer family and West Holmes community lost a loved one, John Blaine Palmer IV. John was a lover, a fighter, and a brother. Anyone who knew John knew that he would protect them with his life, and he made it his duty to be loyal and true. I got to play football with John, and after growing up with him through elementary until this past year, I quickly learned that he could easily brighten one's day. John was a hard-nosed, family-oriented guy who was thankful for everything he had. I remember him fighting through injuries to play with his brothers on the football field, and he was always a young man who fought hard for all that he loved. The love that he had for his family was unmatched, and he will always strive to protect no matter the circumstances. John will always be in our hearts, and that's the closest that one can be. Let's all take a moment of silence and remembrance for John Lane Palmer IV. Thank you. There is a white rose in memory of John beside me. At the conclusion of the ceremony, we would like the Palmer family to accept this rose. Thank you all for attending and supporting us at our graduation. We are all blessed to be here. I would like to welcome back our class salutatory and James Barr. I am honored to stand before you today. The past several years have been incredibly challenging for those who work in education. Thank you to every person in this room who works or has worked in education for the time they took to invest in us. Without your efforts, none of us would be here or even who we are today. Our time in high school was not what we imagined it would be. It most certainly was not what all the movies we watched in middle school made us think it would be. But these past four years were not what anyone in this room ever would have realistically expected. Our years together have been marred with disruption of what was planned, disappointment, uncertainty, loss, and grief. We endured shutdowns, cancellations, and distance learning. It has brought out the best and worst in us. Our community came together to support each other, but it has also splintered into calloused fragments. This time of separation also reminded us, not how, reminded us how much we value the basic human connection, social interaction, and that the internet cannot, truly, cannot replace truly living life. It is only when something is scarce that we truly earn its value. Reflecting on the instability of our past years together, I think we can take away the lessons, lesson of resilience. According to psychologists, resilience is the process and outcome of successfully adapting to difficult or challenging life experiences. Resilience is the way we adapt to adversity with new skills, and it shapes the way we engage with the world. Resilience is not ignoring the difficult life experiences. It involves taking the time to process what is happening, and hopefully in time, to adapt to our new situations. Resilience is recognizing you are struggling and asking for help. It is the grit to stay the course. Resilience involves building supportive relationships and taking care of yourself. Resilience is the thing we can all take from this disrupted years of high school with us into the next chapter of our lives. I would like to quote several verses from Amanda Gorman's poem, New Day, that represent a resilient reflection of our high school experience. We come together. Morning, we come to mend. Withered, we come to weather. Torn, we come to tend. Battered, we come to better. 
Tethered by this year of yearning, we are learning that though we weren't ready for this, we have been readied by it. We steadily vow that no matter how we are weighed down, we must always pave a way forward. We are not defined by the difficulties that we faced. After the lockdowns, we reconnected with each other and all made special memories. Through our classroom learning, in the band room, on the sports field, and with our dearest of friends. Our time in high school has made us more aware and hopefully more comfortable with the uncertain nature of the world around us as we processed national and global turmoil. My hope is that it has taught us that our fates are intertwined with the well-being of those across the globe. The hills of Holmes County do not protect us from the forces of the outside world. When it, our stores are empty, when a store in Asia is locked down, or when a city in Asia is locked down, our commodities become expensive when a Russian dictator invades and terrorizes the people of Ukraine. The interconnectedness of our world is exactly why we must choose to confront our own apathy and choose to care about the fate and well-being of all people. The golden rule still holds true. Treat others how you want to be treated. Others includes everyone on earth, your literal neighbor, your metaphorical neighbor, the struggling farmer, the immigrant, the kid in the inner city, the elderly widower, and the factory worker. We are all neighbors and we are all in this together. Individualism and only caring about yourself may allow you to accumulate plenty of material things, but it will not give you the fulfillment that being a generous friend and person offers. So have empathy for each other. For our Mental Health Awareness Week, the National Honor Society put up a sign. Everyone is going through something that you know nothing about, so be kind. This will hold true for the rest of our lives. Do not define someone by their mistakes, but care enough to hold them accountable. In closing, I hope we can look back on our time together in this building and each find something to smile about. I hope we can learn that the world is ever changing and that we must be resilient and change with it. I hope we have learned not to tie ourselves to our opinions and our ways of life so tightly that we are unable to think again to change our minds about something. I hope we have learned that our well-being is connected to the well-being of others across the globe. And I challenge you to use this knowledge, to have the courage to confront apathy, to live by the golden rule, and to be kind. So in the midst of the emotions of today, I would like to leave you with a quote from Winston Churchill. Now, this is not the end. It is not even the beginning of the end. But perhaps it is the end of the beginning. Thank you. I'd like to invite senior band members to play their senior song, an arrangement of music from Guardians of the Galaxy.
I would now like to welcome class valedictorian Megan Westbrook to the stage. Hello graduates, I value this day that I get to share with all of you. Because of the unwavering support from my family, friends, teachers, and church, I am honored and grateful to stand before you. As I sat down many different times to write this speech, I realized a very important thing about myself. I am indecisive, and I mean really indecisive. I had several ideas floating around in my head on what I wanted to talk about today and I couldn't seem to pick just one. Because of my indecisiveness, I had to do a fair amount of research online. The typical do's and don'ts of graduation speeches, your top 10 tips to writing a great valedictorian address, and countless YouTube videos of famous commencement speakers were all opened up on my 50 Google Chrome tabs. As I sorted through the pages online, I found a helpful piece of advice that said never to start off by using a definition from the Merriam-Webster Dictionary. Well, this definition is from Wikipedia, so I'd say I'm safe to use it. Valedictorian is derived from the Latin valedicere, which means to say farewell, and that is what I'm going to do today. Out of all the other ideas I had in my mind, I realized it was simple. All I need to do is say goodbye. Because I'm a little bit of a nerd, I had to do the research behind the psychology of saying goodbye. In 2020, an article was published in Motivation Science about the study of well-rounded endings and their psychological impact on a person's transition to future stages of life. The author authors classified an ending as well-rounded if the person feels that he or she has done everything that they could have done, that they have completed something to the fullest, and that all loose ends have been tied up. The study found that a well-rounded ending was connected to high positive effect, low regret, and an easy transition into the subsequent phase. As an example of this, the authors studied a group of participants that had just finished high school. The students who felt closure were able to transition into the next stage of their lives with fewer feelings of regret. When I stumbled upon this study, I knew that I had found something golden because it so clearly illustrates the message I want to leave with you all today. Saying goodbye becomes a distinct period of time in our lives. It allows us to reflect on the past while preparing ourselves for the future ahead of us. American philosopher, psychologist, and educational reformer John Dewey once said, we do not learn from experience, we learn from reflecting on experience. Reflection is an important part of saying goodbye. It allows us to sort through the memories we made and assess the value of those experiences like our experience with COVID and the value of our online or hybrid schooling in the preceding months, or the value of experiencing a Bible study at 7 a.m. in the morning, or the value of watching Mr. Gardner's dance group at this past year's variety show. Reflection allows us to learn from our mistakes and learn from our triumphs, and we made many mistakes, whether it was procrastinating on an essay, walking up the stairs to nowhere, or chugging a gallon of green-colored milk in the parking lot. We reflect on these mistakes so as not to repeat them again. But we've also had many triumphs. We made heartfelt music through our participation in the band, choir, or school musical. We created lasting art through the senior wall and other student projects. And we succeeded in our athletics, this year alone winning the OCCs in football, wrestling, and girls basketball. We have many triumphs to reflect on. And finally, reflection allows us to remember who we were, look at who we are, and look forward to who we will become. And this is where saying goodbye prepares us for our futures. In the article I previously mentioned, a portion of the study determined the effect that a well-rounded ending has on one's ease of transition. The experiment organized a 10-minute Skype conversation between two strangers. Half of the participants were notified when there were only two minutes left in the call and told to end it in a well-rounded way. Then, all participants were required to take a test that measured their thinking skills. The authors discovered that the participants who experienced a well-rounded ending performed significantly better than those who did not. This allowed them to begin unburdened into their next phase. 
My job today is to give you that two minute warning, or accurately, a two second warning. Our Skype conversation with West Holmes High School and our fellow graduates is almost finished. It is our time to move on to the next stage. So take that time tonight to say goodbye, to hug and thank your friends and family. This day is not only a reflection of all that we have accomplished, but also a well-rounded ending for this chapter in our lives. As Troy Bolton once said in High School Musical 3, you did it, you graduated. Thank you. Now we'd like to invite all the senior choir members to join the choir for their senior song.
At this time, I'd like to recognize any student that is joining our military. Would you please stand? Thank you, Broden. Mr. Jerkovic, it is my pleasure to present to you the class of 2022 who have met all the requirements set forth by the state of Ohio. Congratulations, class of 2022, on making it this far. The past three years have been a whirlwind towards your flexibility in life. You have shown how resilient you can be getting through it all and still being able to sit here in the dungeon to honor your accomplishments. As I thought about what I would say to you graduates this evening, I thought about what I have learned and observed as my first year with the, as part of the West Holmes community. It reminded me right away of the book, The Carpenter by John Gordon. He explains this book, a few simple principles that can give you the greatest success of all. These principles are love, service, and caring. And I've seen all three of these principles throughout this community. He asked the question, are you a carpenter or are you a craftsman? The difference between a carpenter and a craftsman is simple. A carpenter gets the job done, and a craftsman cares about the job he is doing. As Gordon is in your caps and gowns, you may be feeling some fear. Fear that you are not smart enough, good enough, or even fortunate enough to have success. But I know if you go forward with these principles Gordon calls the way that are ingrained in all of the people in this community around you, you too will have success. The way begins with love. Love is the antidote to fear, busyness, and stress you feel. Do not fear failing. Do not fear losing friends. Do not fear things won't go your way. Instead, do everything with love and cast out your fear. Love destroys stress and brings success. Love is also the ingredient to make you a craftsman to create a masterpiece. Remember, fear is draining and love is sustaining. The love of your community is evident. In sold out plays, signs along the road for athletic teams, and generous donations of time and money throughout the school year. The way it continues with serving. Because we love, we serve. Don't let fear of getting tired get in the way of serving others. And don't let busyness and stress keep you from serving others with love. Good leaders become powerful by serving others and giving their power away. As we sit here today during this Memorial Day weekend, I think of those who have served and given their lives in the military. Why do we honor them? Because they have served and they have sacrificed. When you love, you serve, and when you serve, you sacrifice. Time, energy, money, effort, and focus. Serving others always comes at a cost. But service and sacrifice, you will gain so much more. They will know you love them. They will respect and honor you. They will trust you and treat you and tell others about you. Success leads to serving. We have people, both kids and adults, throughout the West Holmes community who have set examples of service, from teachers, booster club members, 4-H'ers, FFA students, and parent-teacher organizations. Those are just a few ways the West Holmes community serves. Or this final way is caring. When you care about the work you do and show people you care about them, you can stand out in the world where most people don't care. Caring leads to success. It's very simple. Care about the work you do. Surround yourself with people who care. Show your friends, colleagues, teammates you care about them. Build a team that cares about each other. The West Holmes community cares during Share of Christmas. The West Holmes community cares when tragedy strikes one of its own. The West Holmes community cares through the efforts of the Holmes County Educational Foundation that helps students in their future plans. These three characteristics are how you can stand out and succeed. And your community has given you a great start along the way. Always remember, once a night, always a night.
Congratulations and good luck. This is Tina Sikafus, president of the West Holmes Board of Education, fellow board members. These students sitting here today have met the requirements set forth by the Ohio Department of Education and the West Holmes Board of Education. Therefore, in accordance with the laws of the state of Ohio, I recommend that each graduate be presented with a diploma by the Board of Education as evidence of their accomplishments. Marissa Lene Ani. Garrett Michael Arand. Madison Ann Baker. Ashlyn Leanne Bales. Logan Hunter Barlow. Hunter James Ellis. Megan Joy Westbrook. James David Barr. <laughs> Noah Brantley Clark. <laughs> Nyoka Michelle Bartholo. <laughs> Bronson Allen Birchfield. Elizabeth Rose Brantley. Jason Warner Brooks. Samantha Ray Butcher. Joshua Ray Carter. Matthew Allen Carter. Megan Louise Casey. Isaac Carey Cochran. Nathaniel Guy Cohen. Trinity Lynn Connor. Kendra Nicole Cole. Yeah. 
Dylan James Cottrell. Cora Leanne Krylo. Michaela Sky Doherty. Allison Marie Dawson. Gwyneth Ann Dykel. Gwendolyn Rain Dillon. Kylie Caden Stilly. Giovanni Nicholas Denardi. Madison Lynn Eaches. Raider Garrett Eastep. Hunter Henry Eberhard. Fiona Deanne Erb. Evan Maxwell Estel. <laughs> Melanie Noel Fair. <laughs> Ethan Matthew Fiker. Quinn Thomas Finley. <laughs> Cadence Teresa Marie Fraker. <laughs> Elena Page Gallion. Michelle Dawn Graham. Walker Daniel Graham. Morgan Elizabeth Heflin. Eleanor Grace Heller. Rudy J. Hirschberger. Anna Marie Hopkins. Kenna Jade Howell. <laughs> Amy Lynn Hughes. <laughs> Bryce Kenneth Hunter. Grace Elizabeth Jackson.
Tucker Douglas Kaufman. Brianna May Lamp. Bree Ann Larimore. Camden Michael Larimore. Paxton Ann Marie Lemon. Morgan Noel Lober. <laughs> Alyssa Nicole Lovell. <laughs> Kea Elise Lau. Kaylee Marie Maltrich. Gage Rexford Marmot. Micah Lee Martin. Chloe Annalise Mast. <laughs> Harmony Errol Carolee Mast. <laughs> Sawyer Mikhail Maxwell. Blake Anthony McCombs. Jasper Wade McDougall. Broden David Mellinger. Connor Allen Miller. Danielle Grace Miller. Dylan Joshua Miller. Nevea Olivia Miller. <laughs> Tiana Ann Miller. <laughs> Jackson Sterling Morris. Well, Morris. Blake John Robert Morrison. Kerrigan Kensley Sue Mowry. Kyle David Mowry. Drake Jeffrey Mullet. Thomas Allen Myers.
Jonathan Jeremiah Huber. Allison Sophia Oki. James Richard Parks. Sierra Sue Parks. Devin Michael Daniel Parsons. Parrot. Derek Caden Patterson. Kinsey Christine Patterson. Marissa Brooke Patterson. Trey Michael Patterson. Derek James Peltoff. Victoria Elizabeth Perry. <laughs> Mateo Poventude. <laughs> Sawyer Lane Pritt. Dodge Lawrence Raper. <laughs> Leah Danielle Reining. Claire Elise Reynolds. Blake Allen Robinson. Angel Rodriguez Baca. Broden Paul Roth. Vincent Owen Rao. Emma Catherine Russell. Hunter Patrick Ryan. Callahan J. Delaney Shear. Michaela Dawn Marie Shackelford. <laughs> Zachary Matthew Shainer. Sarah May Shank. Chloe Lynn Shoemaker. Brady Cameron Smith. Nora Claire Snow. Zach. 
Zachary Taylor Snow. Kaylin Grace Snyder. <laughs> Megan Grace Stewart. <laughs> Emma Grace Stitzline. Katie Isabella Stitzline. Willow Ann Stroh. Dylan Christopher Strauss. Brandon Zebediah Stutzman. Alyssa Marie Sutton. <laughs> Ashley Ray Tate. <laughs> Darren Millet Thomas. Noah Rodney Lee Tish. Madeline Brooke Torrance. Mariah Lee Trukovich. Michael William Aldrich. Connor J. Barnes. Abigail Patricia Wares. Matthew Thomas Weaver. Channer Brogan Wells. <laughs> Mia Elizabeth Wiggs. <laughs> Jasmine Lee Wright. Avery Susanna Yoder. <laughs> Shannon E. Yoder. <laughs> Taylor Brant Yoder. Matthew Christopher Young. <laughs> Surreal Diane Stephanie June Zigafoos. <laughs> Brock Ryan Zimmerly. Please stand for the playing of our.